Hello. Jane. Where the hell have you been? I have been calling you all night. I've been getting my beauty sleep. Why, is something keeping you awake? Oh, yeah, you're so funny. Where are you? We need to talk. And I bet you want to know if I told the whole world that you're not really Eric Kane. And you have a buried away somewhere like some hidden treasure, am I right? Mom? Bianca, what are you doing with David's phone? I just bumped into him. Why are you yelling at him? I wasn't yelling. I was uh, negotiating. Negotiating? Negotiating what? Erica has written me a letter of recommendation to give to the hospital board. Are you kidding me? Mom, why would you oh, ever... I'm sorry. I I've got another phone call, okay? I I'll talk to you later. Bye. Please stop bothering her. That's not what I was doing. What, calling her? Harassing her? Wow, that's a lot to, um, to draw from a 30-second conversation. Besides, even if I was being slightly pushy with your mother, I'm pretty sure she could handle herself. Usually, yes. She could slap you down with one hand while putting lipstick on with the other, but she was just kidnapped. She's had a rough time. So I'm telling you, leave her alone. Your mother has assured me that she's doing just fine, which leads me to believe that perhaps there may be something else that's bothering you. What are you talking about? I'm aware of what happened with Ricky Torres. You and Marissa must have been terrified. Now, I tried calling her, but, well, you know that story. You have a visitor yeah. in the main lobby. How is she? Marissa's great. She's amazing, actually. Is she talking to anyone? Is she seeking professional help? Look, I don't want to talk to you about Marissa's life. Oh, wait a minute. I'm just a father asking about his daughter, right? And I am late for an appointment. Okay, wait. I don't, I don't want to keep you, but... Are you sure you're ready to be helping people at this time? After what happened? I've been through worse. I know. I remember. And I, uh... You were very helpful to me at that time. I'm very grateful to you for that. Well, I'm offering my help again. Why, David, why? What do you want? No, no agenda. Just a friend helping a friend. You always have an agenda. <laughs> You're right about that. And I do have some very big plans for this town, but not this time. My offer is genuine. Well, thanks, but I'm fine. I don't need any help. What are you doing here? I just met with the hospital board to see if I can get my old job back. Don't you need a medical license for that? I'm working on it. You do know that I've called you a few times, right? Yeah, I know. Marissa, you and Bianca were terrorized by a psychopath, locked in a hotel closet. Doesn't that at least allow your father a phone conversation? I'm fine, really. Mm, that's what Bianca said. You talked to her? Yeah, I did, a little while ago, but she didn't seem like she was fine to me. What do you mean? Which is why I'm a little concerned with how you might be dealing no, with no, all of this. No, no, David, I'm fine. What was the matter with Bianca? She just looked like she was struggling, that's all. Like she was putting up a brave front, but honestly, it didn't seem like... Marissa, wait a minute, where are you going? Dr. Max, extension 456. Dr. Max. Don't get too comfortable. <laughs> well, it's just a matter of time before I'm back where I belong, Junior. Mm. You know, a couple of those board members might have bought that little song and dance of yours, but I sure as hell didn't. Well, then I guess it's a good thing that you're not handing out medical licenses, too. You might be able to practice medicine again. But it won't be here. Not as long as Greenlee owns this hospital. <laughs> All you little people. I have no idea what I'm capable of. But in time, you will. What do you want? 
I was just wondering why you weren't at the hospital board meeting today. I've seen the David Hayward show before. Not interested. Well, in case you were wondering, I thought it went very well. But since you are still the owner of the hospital, thanks to me, your input does hold a little more weight. Well, I'm sure you've heard that the board isn't exactly thrilled with me for protecting Griffin Castillo. Oh, I'll trust they'll get over it. I just want your assurance that once I get my medical license reinstated, that you won't stand in the way of me while working there. Yeah, right. Greenlee, you know the kind of work I can do. I do. All right, you know what? It doesn't really matter, because I have other supporters. Really like who? Someone you paid off? What's this? It's a letter of recommendation signed by none other than Erica King. Sir, recommending David? How could you? Really hold it just a second. No, please. no, no. Ever since Erica came back, she has been so nice to me. Full of hugs, cozying up to me like she's my new best friend. But it was all an act. You know, Greenlee, you're right. I'm sorry. I should have let you know. Why did you even do it in the first place? Do you enjoy watching us all be tortured by David? Okay, Greenlee, that's enough. No, but I want to know. Look, Erica's been under a lot of stress. She did what she felt she had to do. You're not the only one with stress around here. Look, all I can continue to say, Grammy, is that I'm sorry. I, I really never intended to hurt you. Yeah, right. Hey, look, look. You, you know what? I'm Most trying to make. You. I'm trying to make peace with my husband, who just lost his child. Be a stepmom to Emma, who still misses her mother. Put out fires at Fusion that I don't have time for, and now I have to work with David. Thanks to you, it's too much. I agree. I know you have a lot on your plate. Well, well, it's time to clear something off. Sweetheart, yeah, why don't you have a seat and join us here? Tell me, what do you think you can eliminate from that over full plate of yours? The hospital. Well, that's, uh, that's an interesting choice. Well, I only took it on because of David. It isn't what I do. It's not my passion. So why am I hanging on to it? Yeah. I think it's a brilliant idea myself. Uh, but will you excuse me? I, I need to uh, visit the powder room. Sure. Sweetheart, would you do a favor for me? For me, will you just take it a little easy on her, please? Oh, I know, I know. Erica's been through so much, haven't we all? Look, she's been nice to you lately. You said so yourself. And you don't find that strange? Look, I think she's just... She's trying to get her footing back. We just need to be a little patient. <laughs> Easier for you than for me. Yeah, well, we've discussed that, haven't we? So back to the hospital. Right, the hospital. It would keep David out of my life. I don't need any distractions, and David is the biggest one I know. Wow. I gotta hand it to you, Jane. If I didn't know better, I would swear that was Erica Kane in there holding court. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. You, you've got the gestures, the, the expressions down pat. It's an astounding performance. Well, I do like to pride myself and pay attention to detail, I think. That makes all the difference. What are you trying to do? I thought I was paying you a compliment. No, you're not. You're trying to change the subject. You're trying to make a fool out of me, and I really do not appreciate that. You enjoy putting people through hell, don't you? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Just tell me. Are you going to expose me or not? You know, I haven't made up my mind. I don't want to play your games anymore. Fair enough. And I also have no intention of just hanging around with a cloud of fear over me, worried that you're gonna just drop the hammer on me. Spoken like Erica herself. And stop patronizing me. I am smart enough to have gotten this far, so don't think you can just roll over me because I have survived much worse than you. Okay, you're a pit bull. So what's on your mind? I helped you out yesterday. And now I'm ready to offer you more. Look, I don't want Jack to see us together. Greenlee wants to sell her hospital. Now, I could help her find a buyer who is much more partial to you than she is. I have an even better idea. What about you? Me? Yeah. You could buy the hospital. What would I want with the hospital? There's nothing you have to worry about. 
your silent partner will be in complete control. And in return for my silent partner, I would get my silence for my hospital. Deal.